Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are doing super well and staying healthy and safe. Um, oh my goodness, I am sweating. It's so hot today because, well, we just got back from our one walk a day. We went to Boots and Partridges and I was just laying everything out and I wanted to do a mini haul with you guys. I just want to start a vlog basically. It's already like almost, what time is it? It's like 4.30 at the moment. But I wanted to start a vlog and I also wanted to share some new changes and additions to my flat um the first one being this amazing bar cart that i purchased off of ebay i'm so obsessed with it it's from the 60s it's definitely been used and loved but i love that i love that it gives it character the lights still work in the display shelf as well which i really like and then behind here there are plenty more um, storage for the rest of my junk. On top, I just have a jar with some gum and some lollipops. On this side, I've got my plant, some Jonathan Adler, Louis Vuitton books, some straws, and some coasters, and there's a candle back there. I still have this little Vietnam poster that I haven't moved. Um, I still kept the bar cart that was there, I've moved it over here, which works really well. Um, Jacob actually just randomly pushed it in and it worked worked out really well. So I actually removed the two bar stools, moved them elsewhere, I needed them elsewhere. So um, this is just great for storage. I keep my fruit and stuff there. And yeah, and I moved this little guy here as well, <laughs> which I really like. Anyways, let's get into this part through this haul. I don't know, I just kind of felt like sharing some like food and snacks I've been that I'm gonna try at least. Um, found these two, Valentina. They're just basically these like bread snacks, I assume. Um, this one is garlic, and this one is with tomato, like tomato pesto or something like that. I've never tried this, curly Mexican style. It's just a snack with freshly ground peanuts. Yum, can't wait to try that. I don't love, love, love peanuts, but I'll try those, because they look good. We've got some gyoza dumplings, pork and vegetable, which I'm excited. I haven't tried this particular brand yet. Um, Sana Benedetto. Okay, so clearly I did not buy that. <laughs> it's peach iced tea, yum. Um, put about, we got some mushroom risotto. Macaroni and cheese, yes. Got some eggs. Um, white truffle balsamic. Love this. This little partridges. I just wanted to get something to remember partridges for sentimental reasons. And this one just happens to be something you can put cold drinks in, which I don't have and need. So that's nice. I got some cheeky chocolate. And the last, oh no, one more thing. Got some vinegar. <laughs> and the last thing I'm so excited about, pretty much why I want to do this haul basically. We got this um, ceramic baker for the ch baker for the cheese. It's like this camembert ceramic, which is so pretty. How pretty! I love camembert. I love cheese in general. I'm always eating cheese, so I'm gonna keep the cheese in here. So sweet. <laughs> and then from Boots. Ignore the coke that we got. <laughs> got some shampoo. I always use Aussie. I don't know why. Just like habit. I don't even know if it's that great. Um, I do hear good things about it, but I'm just a creature of habit. I just go back for this. This is conditioner. My hair is pretty like good with handling anything really, so I don't really have to be very picky with my shampoo and conditioner. Um, got sheer bottle body wash um, for very dry skin. I do have very very dry skin. And then I got this as well, Cocoa Radiant. With, um, it's just basically like an oil to put after shower or bath. I'll probably do it more after baths because baths really dry me out and I take way too many baths. Um, a luxury bath thought. This is basically for the bath to make bubbles, I assume. By Sanctuary Spa Luxury Bath Float. Yeah, I've not tried this brand, but I saw it. I just want some new things for the bath. Tried ordering off of like Lush and stuff, but everything sold out, so... <laughs> Got that. This is one of my favorite um, gradual tan lotions. So L'Oreal Sublime Bronze. So I've been using that. 
Got to keep up the tan. Haven't tried this out. Spotted this. Going to give it a shot. The reusable tampon applicator. This is my first time trying it. It's by a brand called Dame. So give it a shot. And yeah, I'm kind of nervous because I don't know how I feel about it. Um, we'll see. <laughs> and the last two things, I got some gummy bears. I just wanted some new gummy bears I ran out for my hair. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick update in my living room because I have changed some things. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I removed the IKEA um, unit that I had there. Um, it was always going to be a temporary thing. I just didn't find anything that I wanted there. To be honest, I don't even know if this is the most perfect thing right here. But I saw it on eBay and I couldn't resist. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. I love the pink top and the mirrors with the florals. It's not everyone's taste. I know it's kind of like gaudy and like tacky, but I love it. I just think it's really my style. It's just like eclectic and random and like cool, new, mixed with old kind of thing. Um, so I have lots of my favorite things on here. Very special favorite things. Um, elephants, some really pretty Christian Lacroix um, playing cards, a vintage lighter, some more elephants, and then some of my favorite books. And I moved my cartel magazine rack there. I still have my little beanies here. Moved to elephants here for now, which I don't love, but they're just gonna live there for now. I also have this print that I've had for a while. It's actually a print of a car. If you like turn it that way, there's like two cars, like two Cadillacs. Um, but I turned it sideways and just kind of, I don't you don't know what it is, but I think I, I just really like it. It looks cool. <laughs> and that's where one of the bar stools are for the plant. I moved my blanket basket there and then covered it with a little Vuitton blanket because it's really ugly without, <laughs> as you can see. And then the table is, um, well, it has a lot less stuff on it than it did before. Um, I know this... There's still a lot of clutter to some people, but to me this is a lot more simplified. I had a tablecloth on here, I had books piling up, I had candles. Anyways, um, this is still a mess. Oh my gosh, guys. I know. I cannot believe I stepped on my glasses. I'm going to have to get it fixed as soon as I can. I don't know when. Like, both of them snapped off. Like, luckily the lenses are fine, but anyway, luckily I also have a spare glasses. But the only thing that's supposed to stay in here is the plant, the candle, and the remotes. Everything else should leave. You know, things just start gathering up. So, what can you do? I still love this gorgeous tray from Dior I got a while ago. Um, looks really pretty. And then I have more elephants and books and coasters, as you can see, under there. Good morning, guys. Um, I've just gone ready for the day. And I've come into what used to be my guest bedroom. I've since changed it into kind of like an accessories room or like a display room. Basically, I just felt like all my things, all my pretty things were squished in my closet. They were organized, like my organized mess, but still pretty squished. So I wanted to just spread things out a little bit now that I have the space. Um, and I've bought a couple pieces recently to um, add into this room, so I'll share that. And yeah, I'll just give you guys a quick pan over of what I've done. There's a couple things missing. I'm still waiting on a couple things from eBay to arrive to organize my small other goods, which are currently all on the floor. Hopefully they arrive today so I can film kind of putting it all together. But if not, I don't know when I can do that. Um, but yeah, let me give you guys a pan. So I've moved my sunglasses into here because it made more sense since the front door is just right out there. It just made sense to keep the sunglasses here so I can quickly grab them. I often forget my sunglasses. This wasn't planned to be in here, but I ended up just wanting to move some of my more special pieces outside of my closet because I felt like they were getting squished as well. Like literally all my rails in there are just like this tight, you know? So I felt bad for some of these really beautiful pieces that kind of needs some air. <laughs> so I brought them here. I'll, I can imagine I just switch things around, put things that inspire me here. There's some super old pieces on this rack, like these two Mew Mew coats I got several years ago. They're stunning. Um, so I kind of brought them out to also get re-inspired by them. Um, I've got this gorgeous Chanel uh, blazer and skirt. Then, of course, there's some newer ones, like my dresses. This is a, an old Mew Mew dress I wore for New Year's a couple years ago. I freaking love this dress. 
This is the one I wore two years ago from Miu Miu as well. Um, this is from Louis Vuitton. My Louis Vuitton. I'm just some of my very favorite things I've kept out here. And then my new skull mirror. On this wall, I have the shelves that I recently bought. I'll put the link below. Honestly, they're not that great. Um, I wanted something a bit more affordable, but not from Ikea. I wanted something a bit different in, um, instead of those like square cubes that everyone have. I used to have them as well. They're really, really easy to organize with, but I just was bored of them. Anyways, um, I got this one, which was I think 120 like, to 30 pounds each, which was good. So I got two of them to go along this wall. The bed is there. I've just pushed the bed so I still can have people over. I didn't want to get rid of the bed. I knew that. I wanted to still have the option of having people over. Anyway, so this is a pan over of this. So clearly there is something missing there, 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 and there. So I'm waiting for that. That's my tea. I am having that right now. So that's just there. But I'm so happy I get to display all my pretty things. Some of the things I buy, I buy for collector's purposes. I don't necessarily use them and I just feel bad just like having them in my closet instead of displaying them out. Um, so now I have so much to do that. And then of course there's some pieces that, you know, I don't use all the time like this one. Um, I haven't used this bag in such a long time and I don't know, I just wanted a place to display them. I've also moved all my scarves here. So I've got some rolled up there, some of the thinner ones there and then the thicker ones there. I've got my head accessories there. On this plate, I have some softer ones and here are more head accessories. A couple DR bags I don't use very often. My little elephant that I've kept um, in my closet next door for a while and I just felt like it was being like forgotten so I brought him here. I brought out my Bimba Lola um, toys <laughs> that I bought. I don't know, I don't think actually, I don't think I shared these um, before but I bought these when they had this collab come out, I forget. Um, I have to get the box out in a second, let me see. Here we go, so here, this is the box it came in. Um, Bimba, Bimba Eaters by Frederick Han Hantel. And it was, I think there were like four characters. I got the monkey and the dog. Um, I can't remember what the other ones were, but oop, just dropped the box. But yeah, they did a little collaboration and they had these dolls and I thought they were so ugly and cute at the same time. Um, I couldn't, like, I mean, this one is honestly, like, kind of really, really creepy, but the little heart I couldn't handle. And I'm a dog in the Chinese Zodiac, so I got that one. And then the little monkey I thought was so cute. So cute. Like, the color is stunning as well. Anyways, I love little, like, random things like this. Um, I've got a little Louis Vuitton section here. I've got all my invitations and, like, my name that was on the chair when I got there. Um, another bag that I don't, or clutch that I don't use very often. My scotch boxes here with some notebooks and a pen. And, yeah, these might not stay where they are because I'm going to have a shelf for um, my small leather goods in these four sections, but they're there for now because I can't find anywhere else to put them. I've got my Louis Vuitton mugs there and then my gorgeous, I've considered taking this off. I might still do, I can keep the, the, the lid at the back and this at the front. Let's see what that will look like. Let me do that one second. Okay, that's what this looks like. This is as much as I can push it back. I don't know how I feel about that because it's poking out a little bit, but I think it's fine for now. Um, and then I have the other one up there. Got my gorgeous Chanel um, limited edition Taipei edition one. Sorry, I said edition twice. That's annoying. But yeah, and then my Michael, um, Maison Michael hat box, which has some uh, clutches in there that I don't use very often. And then, of course, I've got my hat box and Louis Vuitton there. Um, and then my Jonathan Adler and H&M collab there with some Jonathan Adler feathers. <laughs> and this, for example, this is something I don't use very often, but I bought it because I thought it was so stunning. Um, it's by Moynat. And oh, I just love these clutches. They came out with like airplane ones and other kind of transportation ones. I do want to get more. I think they're so beautifully made. But I think it looks really good up there. Okay, enough about this shop. I'm just so obsessed being able to see everything. See my two live elephants. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm literally showing you guys these like randomly instead of just showing you guys in chronological order. But I'm just too excited and <laughs> I just want to show you guys random things that excite me in that moment. Um... Yeah, I've just got some books down there, and then the last sections here, I've just got some uh, Fendi catalogs, some more 
clutches and then here have a little like cinema section if you will I've got a pack of chips clutch at the back chocolate and then a popcorn thing super cute but yeah just things that inspire me at the moment that I love looking at and I can always obviously switch around the wall which will be so much fun and then on the other side of the wall I have this situation going on I just drew the curtains a little bit so there wasn't any backlight but um yeah, I showed you guys this unit last time. I'm pretty sure I got this off of Amazon, like I said, and um, I absolutely love it. It's good for 40 pounds, basically. <laughs> and then I have my two hat boxes down there. This one has, like, Baker Boy hats, caps, and beanies. And then this one has, um, ooh, it's so dark, guys, sorry. This one has, um bucket hats I have a lot of bucket hats and then in here I keep my belts all rolled up and then I have this massive Louis Vuitton one at the top so I don't know where else to put that and like I said I'm still waiting on organization there but this is my new hat rack which oops let me fix this I am so so happy with I got it off of eBay I've just been on eBay a lot just hunting for the perfect pieces to add into my wardrobe um, or sorry add into my home and yeah, this one is perfect. There's a couple things I love about this. First one being, which I didn't know about when I bought it, but when it arrived, it's actually quite hefty. It's really heavy, very sturdy. It's definitely gonna last a long, long, long time. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this in my wardrobe for a while. This is what, it's like a wooden ball at the end, which is really cute, and this like really fun mossy green color. Another thing I love about this is the fact that these things that poke out for the hat, they only um, have them on one side of the rack, not the other of the, sorry, not one side of the pole, not the other. So there's none coming from this side at the back, only from like where this pole is, like forward, which makes sense because if I want to lean this on the wall, it'd be hard to if there was um, things poking out that way as well. So that's why I'm able to lean it quite close to the wall um, in the corner there. Love that. And then the, the last thing that I loved about this is the fact that it had so many places for me to hook my hat. A lot of hat racks only have a couple, you know, hooks at the top, usually for coats and hats. And obviously, cool, because obviously not a lot of people have like so many hats. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a great one for me. And I just put all my favorite hats on there. I've hung, I've hung a couple things as well. Um, that I don't know where to put. I might take them off because it does make the, make it look messier. I liked it better without everything hung, but you know, I just, like I said, want to spread things out more and yeah, we'll see what happens. This room will definitely change a little bit more. Um, but that's pretty much everything for this room. I've also moved this carpet in here and that one there. It's crazy how out of breath I am. <laughs> I need to exercise more. Um, I've sat you guys down because I've got a couple things I wanted to share with you guys. I was going to wait until everything came in, but with posting and everything that's going on right now, obviously things are taking longer. Um, so I'm just going to share what I have now. There's a couple things I bought off of Vestiaire. I've just been obsessed, obsessed with just scrolling through Vestiaire. Um, what else have I been looking through? Designer Exchange. I'll link all the ones that I've been looking at below, just scrolling through. And um, I found this t-shirt off of Estere and I absolutely love it. It is in an, an extra large. It doesn't look that huge. Um, it's just, it looks like, it's like the perfect oversize for me, you know what I mean? So I love that, but it's like extra large and it's new, haven't been worn. Original price of 345 euros. I definitely did not pay that price. I think I paid like 100, but I absolutely love this. I just love the colorful Versace and the classic Medusa, the iconic kind of Versace print. And then it'll be look it'll look really good with jeans and like a massive belt or something, just keeping it simple for the current time we're in. So yeah, I love this t-shirt. It even came in the little bag packaging. The second item I've had for like weeks and I've been itching to wear it, but actually to be honest, it's like been warm enough to wear t-shirts, but I don't know, I'm just like such a pussy. I still want to wear something like warm to go out because I'm worried about getting cold. Anyway, I need to like start getting to my, like what, who am I? Like if I was in Asia, I'd be like naked. <laughs> Not really, but anyway. Um, I got this t-shirt again from Vestiaire. It's a Christian Dior t-shirt um, from John Galliano days. I am 
obsessed. It's so, 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 so cool. My favorite part is the back because um, obviously the front looks like this girl's wearing like a lace corset or just like a, like a lace kind of top with denim. And at the back, they've continued that print with the denim, the little like Dior kind of um, detail there, like as if the girl's wearing Dior jeans, that's really cute. So I really like this. And then from Designer Exchange, I found this and it was literally only like 150 pounds, which I thought was a really good price. Obviously 150 pounds for an umbrella is stupid, but a Chanel umbrella, I was like, this is so cute. Honestly, um, it's a great price for the condition that it's in because underneath, as you can see, there is a Chanel logo, but it's a bit like fogged up. It's a little weird. It's like fogged up, which I don't love. Um, I, I wonder if I can fix that, if I can like remove this and fix that. Seems like this person like glued it down. So as you can see, there's like some glue on it. So that's the only thing about this umbrella that I don't love, but I love that it still has a little Chanel logo there and I love the shape of this, like the perfume bottle. But everything else is in perfect condition. Absolutely no other scratches or marks or anything on it. I'm not gonna open it up because I am superstitious and I don't like to umbre open umbrellas indoors, but um, it's got like a little logo there. It's got a button thingy to open up. And then <clears throat> it's also got the CC at the bottom there. But yeah, it's just a, ma it's quite big. It's a massive black umbrella and on the umbrella it just has the Chanel logo all over it. It's kind of hard to tell, but I like that it's subtle. I like that they didn't make that like white or something. That'd be too much. I mean, honestly, I'd be happy if this was all black, but I think it is a bit of a bonus to have all the Chanel logos all over it, right? I don't know, I'm a little undecided about that. I was like, if it was all black, it'd be cute too, because I actually didn't realize that it had all those logos when I bought it. <laughs> I thought it was just black, a black umbrella. But I mean, it was kind of a, a good surprise at the same time. So for my Balenciaga collection video, someone requested me to share my Givenchy collection and I told that person since I don't have a lot from my Givenchy collection, I thought, or sorry, I don't have a lot um, from Givenchy, I thought I could share that in a vlog. Um, so I've bought everything out that I can remember that's in London. I know I have um, a bag in Vietnam, but this is everything I have, I think. I, don't, I really don't have very much. I have a pair of sunglasses, these are really fun. I love how thick the sides are. I love the lens. I have this super random badge that I just always remember having, but like I literally have never used. Um, this might look good on like a denim jacket or something. We'll see. And then I have this clutch, which I bought for I think my 20th birthday or my yeah my 20th birthday. I bought I bought this to match the dress that I wore for my dinner. Um, yeah, it's a very classic Givenchy print, huh? <laughs> And then of course I have this bag. Oh, okay, of course I have a bigger version of this one as well. I have it in blue, but that's also in Vietnam. I have it the huge one. And then I also have the mini one. Is this, is this called the Antigona? Or is that a different style bag from Givenchy? As you can tell, I've definitely used this bag. There's definitely some watermarks on it, but nothing too bad. I absolutely love this bag. I even considered buying it in a different color, but ended up not. Um, but yeah, this is a Mary Poppins bag. It fits everything, and I love um, it even fits an umbrella, by the way. I used to fit um, an umbrella. In, I used to take this out whenever it rained because I could fit an umbrella in it. Obviously not like a massive umbrella, like a full length umbrella, um, but one that detracts as well. But yeah, I loved this bag and I love that I got in yellow. This look, looked really good with denim. And then I have this shirt, which I've worn a couple times. I really do love it. It's very smart and it has like a pop of um, this print at the top, which I really like. And then of course they have these things on both sides is nice yeah it's just a really smart camel shirt and then down here I've put the last item I believe in my Givenchy collection at least in London um, there are these gorgeous dark green python shoes with these like white they're kind of washed off um, stripes throughout them really really pretty really smart again very very heavy insanely heavy um, so I haven't worn them very very much especially not recently, but yeah, very pretty shoe. So those are everything I believe my Givenchy collection, um, as, far as, London, as far as London goes. Like I said, I have two more bags in Vietnam and that's all I remember. 
So as I was putting my little badge away, I already remembered that I have also these gorgeous necklaces that are by Givenchy. Um, they're both vintage. I got them both at a gorgeous, gorgeous <laughs> vintage shop in Notting Hill. It's a good vintage jewelry shop. I'll again put that. I've linked them below before. I've spoken about them before, but I'll put them in the um, below again. But yeah, I love that jewelry shop and they have some gorgeous pieces and I have this beautiful shell one which is probably my favorite one and this one I love because it's nice and long and it's great for layering but yeah really pretty love the blue at the top there okay so I'm really annoyed because I was going to end this vlog by sharing like me finishing off this shelf behind me because I was hoping my eBay order would come in today but it didn't so hopefully by tomorrow but I did want to quickly turn and show you guys this bag real quickly. I shared, the, um, sorry, I didn't, I didn't unbox this, but I shared the reveal of this in my previous video. And I have had the chance to use it once or twice, not for long though, obviously, because our, outing, our outings are never too long, but I brought it to the grocery store. And I've noticed two things that I don't love about this bag. Let me just move you guys closer to the window so it's easier to see. That's better. Um, the first thing are tiny scratches. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, it's really hard to see. I mean, that's a good thing, right? But there are tiny, teeny, teeny scratches. Oh, there we go. You can see that one there for sure. That one, I assume, is from maybe this, like, scratching onto it. It's not so, so obvious. Right now, I'm shining right at the light, so it, it's, like, easier to see. Like I said, this one, there's one here as well, but it's harder to see. The other thing that bothers me about this bag is the fact that this unhooks quite easily. So this has unhooked on me like twice already when using it. it gives me a bit of a heart attack because I feel like I broke my bag when I lifted it up and all I did was like accidentally unhook it. So it accidentally unhooks quite easily. Um, so that's a little bit annoying. So that's something to keep in mind. Honestly, it really isn't the end of the world when this unhooks because you just hook it back on. But it's just obviously not supposed to do that. <laughs> but besides that, it's super easy to style. I love it. It's... It fits a lot more than I expected it to, and yeah, I love it so far. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and look forward to the next one. I'm thinking of filming, oh, I think I'll probably do an unboxing for my next video, and then um, possibly a sunglasses collection. But yeah, hopefully you guys look forward to that, and I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye!